Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Uh, today we're going to have a little creative fun. We're going to mess around with uh, being creative with a photo and mixing in some layers and uh, putting in a clipping mask and trying to make a, a nice, uh, you know, uh, postcard type image. Uh, and so let's see what we can do. We got a photo right here that I took a number of years ago on the West Coast. And it was a, a mother and son, and they were having fun on the beach. And she was twirling him around, caught my eye immediately. And I started shooting, uh, and I was shooting to try to get a silhouette. And uh, I was successful, for the most part, getting the silhouette. But, as you can see in this area here, I did burn out the the sun a little bit and I lost a lot of color in the sky. It's, it's kind of faded and washed out. And so I go, okay, it's a good photo, but let's see if we can make it better by being creative. All right. So, so here we go. I have a vision for this photo already. And that's the most important thing when you're working with photos is have a vision, play, be creative. There are no rules. Okay. So, First things first, I want to bring some more blues into this thing. And so I'm going to bring in another layer and I'm going to go down to the adjustment layers here and I want to bring in a solid color. Okay. So I'm going to hit that. And for color, I want to use maybe a blue coat tone. Uh, this is one of my favorite shades, like a turquoise and punch that in. And I'm going to drag that below the background. Okay, so now we have that. Okay, and put that like that. Okay, so now we have uh, a blue. We have the layer. And I want to turn around and let's see. And I'm thinking this through as we're doing this live. So you're watching my my creative brain overload right now on the spot. Uh, I know I'm going to need another one of the, another layer of this. So command and control J makes a duplicate of this one. And I'm going to turn that one off for now, but I know I'm going to need a duplicate. All right. So I go, okay. And I could see the framing on this and I got a lot of negative space on the wide end. And I think I want to, convert this image to maybe do, doing a square one-to-one -one ratio. I think that might work best. It'll help us concentrate on the mother and their son. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to go up to a crop tool and I'm going to change the ratio to square. And now I'm going to position the, the thing so that the subjects are exactly where I want them in the frame. And then I'm going to hit OK. And so now we have a good, good close knit crop in and that's looking pretty good. And so the next thing is I go, well, you know, let's make it that poster effect or a meme effect uh, for this one here. Let's, you know, let's, let's live life. It's, it does, this picture says live life, be happy, right? Enjoy life. So, so let's go ahead and, and do that. And I'm going to use clipping masks to make this more interesting. I can tell you that for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the text tool. And when you pick a font, okay, I want you to pick a font that's very fat, very thick, okay, has lots of space, like this Rockwell Extra Bold, okay? And the one right below it, you can see how skinny that is. You want something that has a lot of thickness in the uh, each individual character. This way, when we make a clipping mask, that will fill the letters with the picture. Okay, so we're going to pick Rockwell and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just going to go live, drop a line, life. Okay. And I may want to make this a little bit different than black so I'm going to come up and for now make it white and now I'm going to move it so it's a 
positioned in the frame, and I'm not, I'm not loving it. Something's not right. I can see it right now. What's wrong? Uh, she's too low in the frame, and we need to bring her up on the frame. So I'm going to go back up to this one here. I am going to erase this one. This is part of the the creative process, right? So I'm going to bring back this one. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to turn off the text, and I'm going to go. I'm going to raise her up physically up on the on the frame. So using the move tool. I'm going to move her up until I like where she sits in the frame, right? And I'm going to say maybe about there, okay? It raises her up more into the frame, and you'll notice that we're now exposing that solid layer that we have there. Not to worry, though. We're going to try to blend this all together. All right, so let's see. That's That's looking better, okay? All right, so. Again, I don't like the background. It's too light. I want some more blues in it. That's why we threw this in. So we need to change our blend modes to try to put these things together. And I need to, I need to duplicate this layer, put it above the other layer. And so now, let's see. Let's change the blend mode of this lower layer. And I'm going to just watch what happens on the screen. Okay. I'm going to turn this off, and now watch what happens as I change the blend modes. And I'm going to look for a good one, and which one conveys the message that I want to have of my picture. And I'm pretty sure that color burn is what I want. It, it enhances the... Uh, silhouette and it also darkened my sky to a better shade so i'm going to go with color burn for now and so we're coming right along i put in my text and i go okay that's that's a good size it's it's now given the message but it looks it looks just so photoshoppy right it doesn't give any pizzazz it's just text over a picture you know you could do that with anything we want ours to be more interesting so we're going to use clipping masks. And the way clipping masks work is the image, okay, we have an image above, okay, right up here, a copy of this layer where we want to say, hey, this image is going to be restricted to the characters. So it's going to clip inside the text. So in order to do that, we can right-click right in here and then select Create Clipping Mask, okay? And look at that. Now, our picture is now clipping inside the text. Now, tell, tell me that is not an massive effect. There's what we had. And now we made a simple clipping mask. And now, now we have a picture that's starting to come alive. Okay? And that's the whole purpose about clipping masks. And create. It takes your pictures to the next level. And it does what most people sit there and scratch their head and, and go, how the heck did he do that? I like it. Okay. So what makes this all work? Well, the number one thing is when I shot this picture, I shot it on a, a slightly tilt, right? Called a Dutch tilt. Okay. I turned around and I knew ahead of time I wanted silhouettes. So I made sure I shot the picture so that I got a good silhouette. I used a solid color adjustment layer and turn my background back to a better blue or turquoise. I created a clipping mask and put a picture to fill in the image. And now we have something that we can be proud of. Okay. So get in there, grab some photos of your own and start playing with clipping masks. You could have all kinds of fun with clipping masks and there's no limits to what you can do. Okay. So hopefully you found this useful and until next week, you guys take care.